I'm A, and I got volunteered to show you the ropes. We're stuck in this metal box for about 30 seconds while the monster gets a head start. So, let's talk about monster hunting. The thing you gotta keep in mind is, this ain't about just running around and shooting bad guys like you're some kind of goddamn Navy SEAL or whatever. You were hunting a monster on an alien planet. That ain't like anything else. You already know how to use a gun and run around and how to face which direction and all that bullshit. You're not an idiot. We're gonna teach you monster hunting. It may seem... I mean, it's a lot to deal with, but after only like three or five matches, you'll get it. You see those glowing blue tracks in front of you? That means that asshole was just here. Keep on his trail, and hope he doesn't grow too much by the time we find him. All right, now just stick to those tracks. The other half of the team will catch the monster if it starts veering off in some crazy direction. If both halves work together, you'll corner the monster and one of you can land a dome. You're getting close. When you find him, though, he's gonna bolt. That's what the mobile arena's for. It traps a monster, forces a fight. It'll let you know when you're in range. Then, you just hold the button down and the monster is trapped. Okay, here we go. You're right on top of him. But he's gonna try to bolt. When you see the prompt of him. Now, throw the dome. You got him. Fuck yeah. Throw hunter. I knew you could do it. Don't worry about reloading. There ain't no ammo to pick up or anything like that. Ah, it's the future. You don't need that shit. You got some gear that takes a long time to reload or recharge or whatever. Go ahead and stow it. We'll recharge in the background. Watch your HUD so you can see when it's ready. Goodness, this is supposed to be a shitload of damage to the monster. Bad news is, the dome is down and it can run away. Then some breaks. Okay, the dome is down, so the monster's gonna run, and there ain't a damn thing you can do about it. I know, you're thinking, dome it again. Well, you can't. We got all kinds of science fiction shit, but it all runs on batteries, and batteries gotta recharge. Ain't no such thing as a free lunch. All we can do now is keep tabs on the monster till it's had a chance to charge back up again. The good thing is, it gives us time to hone those tracking skills and maybe learn something new. You can follow his tracks while the other half of your crew goes to cut him off. Or you can let your buddies follow the tracks and you can try to cut the monster off. Well, I teach you the advanced shit. That's the monster letting us know he's stage two. It means he's bigger and stronger. He likes roaring about him. Makes him feel threatening, trying to scare us. Let's find him before he hits stage three, because that is bad news. All right, now just stick to those tracks. Looks like the batteries in the dome are recharged. Let's lock him down and dish out some punch. Here's your chance to shine. Dome that fucker. The dome only lasts until you guys or the monster take enough to beat it. Apparently, the damn thing doesn't know the difference between good guys and bad guys. You get close to the monster, you throw that thing out there, and it traps the monster in with you. The dome stays up until either the monster down the hunter. The team does a ton of damage to the monster. Yeah, you probably recognize that guy. That's Griffin Hulk, famous monster hunter. You gotta watch for when he fires his harpoon gun. At that point, two things happen. One, the monster's stuck. He can't run away. And he's probably gonna go straight for Griffin. So you gotta help him out. Like by killing the monster, preferably, but you do you. Whatever you got. Remember, if you want to point something out to your team, just ping it. Yellow ping means just look over there. Orange ping means wildlife. 
probably dangerous. Red ping means that's where the monster is. Get your ass in gear. Just don't ping all the time like an asshole. Come on. You can get up that sheer cliff face or any wall by standing next to it and holding down your jetpack. You climb straight up, as long as you stick near the wall. It's not the fastest thing in the world, but it gets the job done, so don't complain. Grabbing these jetpacks wasn't easy. You're gonna hear your teammates say, he's headed west. And you're like, what the fuck, which way is west? Well, you got a compass. Okay, so the good news is, this is as strong as the monster gets. On the other hand, your bone. Because a stage three monster is no joke. You gotta bust your ass to take one down. But it also means the monster don't need to eat no more. It's coming for you. So stick together and be ready. The monster stage three, and that means he can ignore you and go for the Patterson relay. Every map has one, and if it shorts out, the whole place blows up. Check your HUD, you can see the relay. If you wanna head over there, wait for the monster, you can. The Patterson relay has a shield. It'll power up as more hunters get near it. If the monster attacks it, get your ass over there. Okay, see that? Over there? The monster spooks some birds over there. That's bird sign. That means you know where the monster is. But you gotta move your ass. The monster ain't just gonna stand around like an asshole waiting for you. Dome him now. You see that look in his eyes? If you let him go, he's definitely gonna go off and defile something. Tap jump and get a quick jetpack dodge. Good for getting out of the way of rocks that Goliath's thrown at you. You dodge, you whichever way you're moving. If you're standing still, you'll dodge straight up. Okay, so you need to keep your teammates in line of sight so they can heal you and shit. And if you stand too close to them, the monster will breathe fire on all you or lightning strike the hell out of you. So, you know, stay close, but not too close. Get the hand. You stone cold monster slaying machine! Now, you may be new at this, but I think it goes without saying that if you manage to take down a stage three Goliath, you've got a solid handle on things. <laughs>